Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are here with one of our favorite fall recipes. This is one of our go-to dinner items for fall. Not only is this dish super simple to make, but it is very flavorful and delicious. So let's jump into the recipe. First of all, we're going to need some butternut squash. I have taken about 10 ounce of frozen butternut squash that I thought beforehand. You can use the fresh ones if you want. With our busy schedule on weekdays especially, using frozen vegetables makes our cooking process way faster and easier. Then you're going to need some shrimp. I've taken about 12 oz of shrimp here. I prefer using raw peel on shrimp for this recipe as I feel like the flavor comes out so much better. Now we're going to jump into the marination process. We're going to start by marinating the butternut squash. We're taking a little bit of black pepper powder, a little salt, and a little bit of turmeric powder. We're going to give this a good mix and then we're going to let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. We don't need to marinate this for too long. We just want it to marinate and soak up the flavor from the salt and the black pepper for just a little bit. Next, we'll be marinating the shrimp. The process is pretty much the same. We're just going to take a little bit of turmeric powder, a little salt, and a little bit of black pepper powder, mix it well, and let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. While these are marinating, we're going to prepare the rest of the ingredients. For the rest of the ingredients, you're going to need about two and a half tablespoon of finely chopped cilantro. Now the cilantro are optional, you can leave them out if you want. Next we're going to need about two teaspoon of minced garlic. Then you're going to need about three fourth cup of sliced onion, it's about half an onion. Then we're going to need some whole spices. You're going to need one small cinnamon stick, one whole cardamom slightly open, one bay leaf, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, we're also going to need some powder spices. We're going to start off with half a teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, one fourth teaspoon of red chili powder, one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, about half a teaspoon of salt. Adjust the salt according to your taste. To make my cooking process simpler, I like to measure out and put all my powder spices in a bowl so when it's time I can just dump it in and not have to worry about measuring at that time. Next you're going to need about 2 teaspoons of sugar. Now the sugar is optional. I just like a little sweetness to my butternut squash so I like to add the sugar but you can leave it out if you want. Now we're also going to need some water. We're going to need about 1 4th cup of water for cooking the spices and about 3 4th cup of water for the curry. Now for the final ingredient, you're going to need some cooking oil. I'm taking about 6 tablespoons of cooking oil over here. Now let's start the cooking process. We're going to start off by adding two tablespoons of cooking oil to the pan. Once the oil is hot, which should only take about a minute or so, we're going to add the marinated shrimp to the pan. We're going to lightly fry the shrimp on both sides and then we'll take it out of the pan and set it aside. This should only take about three to four minutes. Now once you have taken out the shrimp, we're going to add another 2 tablespoons of oil to the same pan. Once the oil is hot, we're going to add in the butternut squash and we're going to fry the butternut squash for about 3 to 4 minutes. And then we're going to take it out and set it aside just like the shrimp. Now we're going to add in the rest of the oil to the same pan. 
Once the oil is hot, add in all the whole spices. Now let the spices cook for about 2 to 3 minutes or until they are brown and then add in the sliced onions. We're going to cook the onion until they are translucent and then we're going to add in the minced garlic and the ginger garlic paste. Now we're going to let the mixture cook for about 2 minutes. Now we're going to add in the powder spices. Now mix the spices well with the onion mixture. Let it cook for about a minute. Add in 1 fourth cup of water and let it cook for about 5 to 8 minutes. We really need to let the spices cook well to get the best flavor. Once the spices are cooked and the oil is separated from the spice mixture, we're going to add in the sugar. Give it a good mix and let it cook for about 30 seconds to a minute and then we're going to go ahead and add in the shrimp. Now mix in the shrimp with the spices, let it cook for a minute or so and then we're going to add in the butternut squash. Now we're going to mix in the butternut squash with the shrimp and the spice mixture and we're going to let it cook for about 2 minutes. Now we're going to add about 3 4 cup of water and then we're going to give it a good mix. Now at this point we're going to cover the pan, put the heat on low and let it simmer for about 5 minutes. Now depending on how thick you want your sauce to be, you can cook a little longer if you want to. I like my sauce to be a little on the runny side so I'm basically done cooking at this point. The butternut squash and the shrimp cooked beautifully. We just need to add the chopped cilantro at this point. But as I mentioned earlier, this step is optional so you can skip it if you want but I really like the flavor of cilantro with this dish. So I'm going to add that in. So yeah, that's it. Your one pan butternut squash with shrimp is all done. You can enjoy this dish with a side of white or brown rice, salad or even mashed potatoes. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments. We would love to hear from you. All the details of this recipe is given on our blog post and all the links are given in the description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.